Nancy, you're awfully quiet this evening. Is there something wrong? No. Are you feeling ill? Are you sick? No. Well, there's obviously something going on. What is it, honey? I was just thinking. You weren't thinking about some boy, were you? <laughs> no, not some boy. All right. It's missions. Nobody wants to talk to me about it. We talked to you about it. <laughs> we yeah? did. Well, maybe the first time I didn't understand it. Can we talk about it again? Sure. Sure. Of course we can. So you want to know about missions. Missions is where people go to another country and they tell, they tell others about Jesus. So he's like a preacher. Well, kind of. He's more like a big shot. You see, these people know so much about Jesus that people come from all over just to hear him speak. How do missionaries live? Well, they live in the wilderness, in little grass huts made of sticks that could catch fire very easily. You see, they don't even have kitchens in those huts. Mm -mm. No, they cook outside over open fires. Mm -hmm. And they have to hunt all their food. They kill innocent animals? Well, of course. It's not like here in the States where you can just run down to the corner market and, and get a frozen pizza or macaroni and cheese. So they don't have stores or malls? No. So they don't have video games or TVs? Oh, sweetheart, no. They don't have anything. They have grass skirts. They don't even have running water. They have to get their water in buckets. They have to go all the way to rivers and streams and take buckets and carry it back to the village. And, and they even take baths that way. They take a bath in a bucket? No, that's not what I mean. I mean they take baths in rivers and streams. So they don't have bathrooms? No. Outside toilets. Holes in the ground. They go to the bathroom in a hole in the ground? Oh, Dad, you've got to be kidding. I'm not kidding. Do missionaries always live like the people of that country? I don't think so, honey. Of course they do. How long do they stay there? Five years. Well, now, honey, our church has been supporting a missionary for over 12 years now. 12 years? Yeah. Now, does the church pay for the trip, or does the missionary? Well, normally the church asks everyone for money, and we all help pay for it. How old do you have to be to be a missionary? You're not old enough. Cassie, you can't just run off and be a missionary. To be a missionary means you have an understanding of what God wants for you. Mom, I don't want to become a missionary. I want to be a veterinarian when I grow up. You know that. Well, don't be in a hurry to grow up. <laughs> Dad. Have we answered all your questions, dear? Wow. How do you know where God wants you to go and how do you get there? Will he tell you how to get there by letting a person come up to you and just asking you where to go or telling you where to go? And then does he follow you there or does he help you get there or does he just leave you there and give you directions? And if I go there, what if I don't like it? Will I be able to come home? Sweetheart, sweetheart. Whoa, you are asking way too many questions. You certainly do have too many questions. Definitely too many for your father and I to answer. You know, you need to go see that, um, Robert, who's that guy at church who, who left mm. church to become a missionary? Yeah, his name was um, John? Don. Don. No. Dan. 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 He's the missionary guy? His name's Dan? Yes. I know him. Well... I don't really know him, but my teacher, Mrs. Hill, knows him. He was her youth leader a long time ago. You need to go see Dan. He'll answer all your questions. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me who can? A village in Thailand, the streets of Bhutan. 
Touching them just reach out your hand So many places, so much to do 